Now, if there are two things that I love, it's hockey and funny chimpanzees who play hockey. So, as a kid, when I saw the trailer for 2000's MVP, Most Valuable Primate, I was pretty excited. Uh, unfortunately, I never got around to seeing the movie. Um, it just, I, just, I don't know. I just never found it anywhere, and I never watched it. Um, but here we are in 2019, almost 20 years later, and um, let's watch MVP, Most Valuable Primate. Why not? I also want to say that on I, I love these old DVDs where they open like weird and then they have like the the flap I don't know I mean they're bad but like they have their charm maybe that's foreshadowing I I don't know let's let's watch the movie now the movie opens up introducing us to our main character Jack an extremely intelligent chimp working at a university and they do a really good job of getting us attached to this character and getting us excited for this awesome adventure with this funny chimpanzee wait I thought we we were just we were just introduced to Jack we spent the we spent the first couple minutes introducing us to Jack and now Jack is gone and we have the, the, what? What is... Gotcha. So, the movie starts in, in introducing us to Jack, and then it immediately cuts to these two kids playing hockey, and then they hug, and then it cuts right back to Jack immediately after. I am here for the funny monkey, okay? I don't care about these kids. That aside, what a weird way to introduce your characters. <laughs> Just stop what you're doing, show them, and then go right back to what you were doing. So right after whatever that was, uh, we cut back to Jack and his teacher friend teaching a college class. But Jack is a big silly funny monkey and he's not doing what he's supposed to do. Jack, how is anybody gonna believe that you're a genius when you behave like this. <laughs> and we're back on the kids. I, please, I'm here for funny Jack. Tara is the new kid in class, and she is very upset because she was not invited to this birthday party that all of the other kids were invited to. When, really, these kids are just idiots and they're throwing the invitations all over the place. I don't know what is wrong with them. And one of them gets lost, and of course, it is Tara's. First of all, who passes invitations out like that? Uh, but more importantly, that is never resolved. They never find the invitation. She never ends up going to the party or making friends with the kids of her class. It's just, it's brought up once more in the movie like right after this and then never again why is it here anyway we we learn that tara is deaf uh i wonder if that's gonna be important to the movie in any way hmm finally we cut back to jack who's hanging out with his friend and caretaker the university maintenance man hmm. hey jack did you steal one of my marshmallows all right, then. I can't tell if this actor is taking this job super, super seriously, or if he does not care at all. Uh, regardless, this is the best human character in the entire movie. But then we have to cut back to the dumb other kid. His name is Steve, and he has joined the school hockey team. A hockey team which is very, very bad. Oh, also, the teacher dies of a heart attack. It's it's pretty grim for uh, uh, this this movie. I was I wasn't expecting this. I, I just I was expecting a funny monkey. Our two heroes then overhear an evil plot from the evil dean of the evil university to sell Jack to a different university. Jack has been sold to the University of Tennessee Research Hospital. <gasps> Isn't that where they're doing hepatitis testing? Oh, I'm not sure. It's only a rumor. 
So Jack's good friend, the maintenance man, decides to send Jack back home to the nature preserve that he was from. So he buys a train ticket for him, puts him in a bag, and leaves him on the train, telling him to get off at his stop. Are we sure Jack wasn't his caretaker? So of course Jack misses his train stop and he ends up in Canada. And I, I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Did you see a monkey in the woods? Excuse me, what was that? Bend. Did you see a monkey in the woods? I'm sorry, one, one more time? Bend. Did you see a monkey in the woods? That is a bush! Anyway, Jack and Tara become friends, they can communicate through sign, you can probably guess how most of this goes. Then there's like five minutes of funny Jack shenanigans, which admittedly are funny, but let's just skip right to the good stuff. Tara and Steve, of course, take Jack out to play hockey, because it was the early 2000s, you know, it was, it was a time like no other, you could just do that back then. We also get this. Where's the monkey? Jack? Oh, uh, he's gone? Who stole that chimp? I don't know. I'll find that chimp if it's the last thing I do! I love this movie so much. So the kids leave Jack at home to go to a hockey game, and of course, Jack escapes and follows them to the game. Steve's team is losing horribly, as it always does. Meanwhile, Jack goes into the changing room and finds a little chimpanzee-sized uniform to play, go play hockey in. And uh, get ready, because this is the greatest part of the entire movie right here. So instead of calling animal control or anything, uh, the board of hockey decides that uh, Jack should be allowed to play because it would boost ticket sales. And also, yeah, that's pretty much it. The 90s and early 2000s were weird. So the team begins their winning streak, not just because Jack is better than all humans at hockey, apparently, but because the team is now motivated and they're now actually trying. All except for one, so Steve begins working with the goalie to see what the issue is. You can't see, can you? Of course I can see. I didn't shoot the puck, Magoo. Well, I can see the big things. Magoo, you're a goalie. Come on, I got an idea. The goalie's character arc is that he buys glasses. Jack also comes into Tara's class to teach them all sign language. Uh, the party is never brought up. The missing invitation is never found. So the Golden Nuggets have been undefeated since Jack joined the team, and they're off to the Harvest Cup. And they're also on the news, and the Evil Dean finds out about Jack and begins his evil scheming. Evil Dean gets a court order to take Jack away, um, but since he is not allowed in uh, the hockey player's room, because, he, you know, he's not a hockey player, uh, he is not allowed to take Jack even though he has a... Uh... Anyway, uh, his new plan is to hop on the ice after the game and seize Jack then. But the team comes together and they devise a plan to save Jack. So they switch Jack out with Tara at the last minute. She scores the winning goal and the Golden Nuggets win. Meanwhile, Steve takes Jack to the airport and sends him home to his family. So Jack goes back to the wildlife preserve and uh, the maintenance guy from the university works here now, apparently, somehow. Yeah, but anyway, that's the end of the movie. And that was MVP Most Valuable Primate. You know, I think it lived up to the hype. This this is a this is a quality movie. 
Um, obviously, it, it's not really good. It's extremely stupid. It's extremely predictable. But it's it's honestly so much fun. If you like hockey, if you like funny chimps, I highly recommend this movie. Uh, I give it a eight out of ten. Would watch it again. Anyway, um, I highly recommend you watch this movie because I, you know, this was like a ten minute video. I couldn't cover everything. Uh, there's there's a lot to take in with this movie. Uh, I don't. I feel like I can't really do it justice. So you should watch it on your own if you get the chance. Anyway, that's the end of this, whatever this was, and um, have a fantastic day, monkey.